What's going on, everybody? This is Renegade Number One, aka the Feminist Killer. Hashtag Logitorium. Avoid the Western world and its programming. That's something that we all have to work towards doing. Obviously, the Western world is the modern day hell for anybody who's logical. The Western world not only tries to get you to chase your desires, but it also wants to inculate the idea that more is better. For those who practice a minimalism or a minimalistic lifestyle, this is not the society for you, which is myself included. This is a maximalism culture. A culture that wants you to continue to strive and continue to chase and continue to want. We all know that equates to suffering. Fuck the clothes that you wear. Fuck the haircut that you seek. Fuck the cars. Fuck the houses. None of it matters. Because at the end of the day, it's never going to be enough. It's never going to be enough. So why continue to go and seek? To me, it's just insanity at its finest. Like I said, um, ultimately, I'm a realist. Some people may say I'm negative. Some people may think I'm too cynical. I'm a realist. Your point's your 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 efforts are pointless. Your efforts are are just a waste of time. Why continue to do the same thing day by day, week by week, year by year, only to have nothing as the result? And so usually people are disappointed. Usually people battle with depression because, again, the society that programs them, the, the society programs them to believe that if you have a certain amount of money in the bank or if you have a certain type of house, a certain type of apartment, you ain't shit. That's what they tell you. Society, Western society tells you that if you don't live up to a certain life, you ain't shit. That's why a lot of you are so fucking depressed because you allow the system to dictate what you should value. I say, fuck that. You value what you decide to value. Don't allow anybody to dictate that. That doesn't sound like freedom to me. And of course, we all know freedom doesn't really exist. It's, it's just all lip service at this point. But we don't live in a free world. A free world doesn't exist. But a free mind does exist. Think about that for a second. So the ultimate goal is to understand and realize that everybody's intent, at least when it comes to entertainment, advertisement, news network standpoint, and even school system standpoints, their main motive is to get you to play into the hands of what they're trying to do. Get you to play into the agenda. Get you to be another number in the game of conformity. They want you to conform. They hate people that don't like to conform. That's why they have negative words and negative shaming, uh, shaming language. Right. Mental ill illness. Crazy. Oh, you're wrong. They'll do anything to get you to conform. You cannot fall for it. And as long as you lack self-assurance, you will always conform. And again, I'll say that again. If you don't have any confidence in what you're talking about, there's always going to be someone that's going to tell you you're wrong and you will believe it. You have to have assurance you have to have confidence and not in a sense that oh you need to be confident to where you're arrogant i'm not talking about that as long as we know the truth and that we're speaking in a state of logic and not ego and emotion 
We don't give a fuck what anybody tells us because we already know we're coming from a place of truth. We're coming of we're coming from a place of objective nature. We have objective nature that we use. We don't come from a place of subjectivity. We come from a place of objectivity. And so it's very important for you to strip down everything you've learned. Eradicate all ideologies that have been that you've been indoctrinated with, which is it will take some time to do. It will take some time to do, but you have to work towards it. The more things you remove from your life, the more freer you will be mentally. Again, we live in a maximalism culture. But we seek minimalism. There is a conflict there. So therefore, the Western world is not for you, it's not for me. Let's talk about entertainment. Someone brought up, what do I think about the music today? Most of the music today, not only is it shitty, but it's literally style without substance. It's literally all talk. There's nothing, no one has anything profound to say. Nothing, nothing really abstract to say nothing really thought provoking to say nothing that really catches my eye nothing innovative at all it's the same bullshit love i got money i fuck bitches right they're bragging about a lifestyle that you really don't need they're bragging and really that's really what it is a lot of these rappers a lot of these r&b artists they're selling you a maximalism lifestyle that's why you feel like shit, because you allow these people to deceive you. You allow these people to tell you what you need. You don't need 99% of the shit that we, that we say we need, we don't even fucking need. All you need is a roof over your fucking head, clothes on your back, soap to wash your ass, and, and a, a toothbrush to brush your fucking teeth. And, and food, man, <laughs> that's all you need. That's us as black pillars. I don't give a fuck about anything outside of that. So most music today is for the low IQ masses or the feeble minded masses, better yet. And since most people don't question what they listen to, they fall right into the conformity. They fall right into the programming. That's why you see a lot of these people. The only thing they can do, when you talk to the average person, if you live in the United States of America or any other westernized country, it's literally, when they open their mouths, westernized ideas that come out. Nothing else. Nothing but consumerism. I got to get this and I got to get that. It's, and, and it's nothing but narcissism. It's the same thing from every person. There's 300 and what, 50 million people in this country. And, you know, hundreds of millions in other countries that are westernized as well. All of them will say the same shit for the most part. There's no point in being here. There's no point in being here at all if you are a person who doesn't value that. When I talk to people and I hear that they value these things, we're operating. And I, it's just like we're operating on two playing fields. To me, it's amazing. I just don't understand how people can continue to listen to celebrities, continue to listen to news anchors or advertisements. It's like, it's like I'm in a different world. It's like we are in a different world compared to them. You know, I, I have to refer to them in third person because that's what they are. I can't relate to them. I'm on a different planet. I'm on a different frequency. And so are you, because if you're feeling the same thing as me, you would, you would have the same reaction. You know, I just don't understand how you can listen to garbage on the radio. But again, they have to minimalize your thinking, your brain capacity. They have to dumb you down so you don't make yourself a threat to the system. The people that they can't dumb down and control, we pose a threat because we want our priority is to expose the truth. We're not trying to sell you lies to keep you confined to this bullshit reality. Most of the time, you hear advertisers talk about what they are advertising. 
They're exaggerating the truth or they're leaving out some flaws. This is business. News anchorers, they read stories in front of a camera that are scripted and they don't care that they're scripted because they are already committed to selling their souls to deceive you. Their job is to strike terror in the eyes of millions and even billions. See, people who watch the mainstream media and the news, they are susceptible to being manipulated emotionally. When they tell you to get scared, you get scared. When they tell you to remain calm, you remain calm. They know how to manipulate you emotionally, emotionally because you're a fucking puppet and they're the puppeteer. I am not a puppet. I cut my strings off a long fucking time ago. I signed my death certificate a long fucking time ago. I'm already dead. My future, I don't see my future with a bunch of women in a nice ass, big ass mansion. No, that's not going to happen for me. And I'm okay with that reality because I don't want it. I don't need it. It's not real. It's not, it's not in my, it's not in my uh, desire or in my future because I don't want it. I don't value it. And I don't, and there's no point of it for me. Right. But if you don't play into that, you get shamed. You face social ostracism. You face criticism. Oh, you're 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 weak. Oh, you don't want to you just don't want to work hard to get what you want. No, I'm not going to play into a stupid game that's pointless. I'm not going to play into the rat race. Again, there's so many people that are wrapped up in their delusions or they're attached to a certain indoctrination that. They're just too far gone to save. There's nothing you can tell that person. And like I said, man, we are we are going to we're operating in the modern day hell. We are operating in the modern day shithole. This is the end of the world. Agenda 21 is already here. If you read 1984, you know what it is. Most of you guys are fucking pros. Have a working class mentality. You have to keep working over and over. You're nothing but a mindless, brainless fucking zombie who was taught to consume. Who was taught to believe that more is better. No, less is better. Less brings freedom and joy to my life. Less brings tranquility to my life. The only thing more brings to me is jealousy and envy. And I don't want any of that shit brings nothing but fake people in my life. But let's talk about it like this. They have a set of techniques that they use to get us to conform. And obviously, I've already said them alienation, brainwashing, coercing. Right. So alienating us. They think that's going to make us feel bad for making us feel like the odd ones out. I like being the odd one out. I like being a fish out of water. I desire to be disliked by society. I like when society hates me. That gives me the rush. So you can't use alienation against me. Brainwashing. I'm not going to let you perform any psychological techniques to alter my mind state. Obviously, you look in the education system. As kids, we have applied. We're we're so uh, pliable at that time, unfortunately. But the older we get, the more our eyes start to open up as the as we're when we're kids, we have the veil over our face. We don't see. We just we believe that adults are the ones that are virtuous and that we're supposed to do what, do what we're told. That's the wrong advice. Fuck that advice. Coercion, look at the police. Right? Co- the police, they coerce us to follow the law. Follow laws that are meant to enslave us and keep us from reaching where we need to go. They are meant to enforce. Hypnosis. Whether it's sex, drugs, what hypnosis, they use anything that's visually stunning to, to, to grab your attention. Total, totalitarianism, right? I always struggle with that word. Totalitarianism. Get us to submit to the government. 
These are all ways that they use to brainwash. And obviously there's more, but I, you know, I don't have time to say all of them, but <clears throat> it's amazing that people just overlook these things. They just disregard the fact that they are not free. They are not human. They're just another number. They are just a fucking guinea pig. You are just another ant who was told to build the colony. You are just an ant part of the colony. You will never see. You're not getting no part of that cheese. So I say, fuck the Western world. Let this shit burn. I say all the isms, the feminisms, the fascist, uh, the socialism, Marxism, egalitarianism, all of those things can burn. All of, and anybody who supports those type of isms, they can all fucking burn. I don't give a fuck. And and that's how I feel about it. And you know, again, if you are not trying to strip yourself down of your reality that's been forced upon you, why are you even blackpilled? Don't even utter the words blackpilled. If you still believe in hope, if you still have an accepted female nature, don't even bother uttering those two words. Black peeled. This, again, is not an ideology for many. Most won't have the brain capacity to assimilate such a concept because, again, they're too busy being distracted by entertainment that they think is useful in the long run when it's really not. It's meant to keep them blinded. But, of course, they can't see that. They're too busy chasing a lifestyle that they will never obtain, but they're too delusional. But, hey, when will we ever wake up? As a whole, my guess is never. Only the few will wake up. The rest, the rest of you, you're all going to go off a fucking cliff. And when you go off that fucking cliff, I'm going to watch and I'm going to laugh and I'm going to smile. All of you who are conforming to this culture that the Western world likes to call it, you are all going to fall off the cliff. You're all going to fall into that black hole. You are all going to burn in that fucking house. You are all going to suffer. And I mean suffer to where you're not even prepared for the suffering. I'm conditioning myself to suffer. Therefore, suffering to me is actually desire. But for most of you, since you don't value suffering, you're going to suffer a, a, a lifetime of hell. And I'm going to laugh. But for those who seek not to conform, for those who seek to deprogram from the bullshit that the Western world tells you to value, we are going to stand off to the side. We don't care about any of the of the, the stigmas that they want to place upon us, because, again, we are impervious to shaming language. We are invincible. We don't take we validate ourselves. We don't take kindly of what people have to say. So, again, fuck the rappers. Fuck the R&B artists that, that, that tell you to simp, that tell you to chase pussy. Fuck all of that music. It's all a waste of time. The only music that I listen to, it doesn't have vocal techniques. It's just instrumentals. And matter of fact, that's what music is, technically, is just instrumentals. I like listening to sounds that raises my vibration opposed to listening to superficial lyrics that talk about nothing for four to five minutes. Anything that is mainstream or popular automatically, you can throw that in the trash. That's what I want. I want you guys to understand anything that's popular, throw it in the trash. But unfortunately, like I said, since most people don't have their own mind and they seek to look to the outward world for validation, they are going to be mind control freaks. They are going to be subjects of the matrix 
while we, on the other hand, we're going to be the opposite of that. I am tired of being tired. I'm tired of being told the same speeches over and over again. But again, that stuff is no more for me. From from here on out, it's all change. It's all for progress. And that's it. There's no looking back. There's no wasting time on what other people are thinking or what or or what other people are doing. Right. Why are you worried about your appearance? You shouldn't even be worried about your appearance. Fuck your haircut. Like I said, fuck the clothes that you wear. It's not going to get you anywhere. Fuck the cars. It's not going to take you anywhere. All of that stuff is a waste of time that I refuse to dedicate my time to. So if you're not trying to strip yourself down, you're wasting your time listening to my message. But uh, this is Renegade number one. Like the video, share, subscribe, peace.